Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm uh, I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. No, for real, like I'm I'm actually here. It's a, it isn't gonna be a 30 second intro and then just cutting to a video of crabs dancing saying Yoshi's mom is dead. No, I'm actually here for a video. Um, I found some time and uh, I've got some topics that I uh, I figured that it would be fun to discuss in a video and get your guys' thoughts on. So I'm uh, I'm actually recording a video. That's yeah. So here we are. Um, it's been a while. That's uh, it's kind of obvious. Um, <laughs> if you're wondering wondering where I've been, I'm I'm gonna touch on that too, and I'm gonna touch on today's topic that I really wanna talk about, and. It's, we're also going to be a little productive because, of course, so why why would I just... So this isn't a podcast. We actually want to get stuff done. Do I have a 23 diamond door? I guess I'm still trying to get a uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe. <laughs> so I knew I wouldn't have coal in that. Um, we'll, we'll just go ahead and touch base first of, first of all. First of all, why I've, uh, I've been gone so... Um, basically, as you all knew from previous videos, I started college back in August, and, um, oh wait, where, when did I last upload? Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, so I did the Christmas thing, um, I told you all college was busy and was the reason I hadn't uploaded in a long time. I was gonna do a Christmas series, and then I didn't. Then in my, well, I did, I did one episode, and... In my Discord, I posted an announcement saying that something had popped up in my life and that I was not going to do the Christmas series. Basically, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into the details of why I didn't do that, but uh, I, I just didn't feel like making videos. It was a lot of effort. I was, I was still pretty busy, and I had work. I was working a winter break job, if you know what that is. <laughs> and basically, I, I just had personal reasons to not do that. And now I've started up second semester again, but I've found some time on the weekend to upload, and I've had a little more motivation. Um, it's college has kind of whooped my butt, you know. But like, if you wow, if you look at before, <laughs> huh, I don't know, is this bridge too tall? I, it's it's still a little blocky, isn't it? I don't know. But if you look at before before college. This is going to be the most gigantic airport tower I've ever seen in my life, by the way. Um, I think we actually have to go to the other base to get supplies. So we'll talk on the way there. If you looked before college, before I went to college, I was in high school. I only did like three class periods a day. I only had two real classes. And like, I struggled to upload then. And like, I had nothing going on. Oh, what in the world? Yoink. Did I grab it? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I, I was struggling then, and now I'm in college, and I actually have a workload, and there's just, you know, it's not a chance. It's it's a it's a mixture of not having the time and just not wanting to. So now I have a tiny window to record and kind of want to. So you're gonna get a video or two, maybe depends on how this first one goes. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's why I'm uploading. Um, that's where we are. I did a live stream on uh, on Friday, yesterday, today's Saturday night, in case you were wondering. Technically, it's Sunday now because it's just past the uh, midnight hour, if you're wondering when I'm recording this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's, that's basically where we are right now. Um, I just need stone and glass. Let's just get rid of this crap. I'll organize it later. It's not like I'm in this world enough to care. That ought to do it, I believe. I I have, I have the blandest builds, dude. I feel so bad for it. Wow, I didn't realize I had so much of this material. Is there anything else I need? Question mark. I could throw in some quartz, maybe. I'll probably need glowstone for lighting, though. I have quite a few materials in this world, don't I? How many hours have I put in this world? I'm off track again. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little out of the uh, distant swum. Are you kidding? Is that anywhere near proper English? I don't think so. I'm a little bit out of the uh, 
distance though distance okay that's right a little bit out of the youtube flow so if my commentary is complete garbage excuse me for that when did i feel a cauldron apparently i've got a cauldron that's filled somewhere in the world because i didn't take the water from it <laughs> i was looking at hours how do you that's got to be at the top right yeah 48 70 70 hours in this world there you go <laughs> Okay, let's get on track. Like I said, please excuse me. Um, what else was, was I looking to say? If you uh, if you want some updates on the channel, like I have left like the actual YouTube part of this, my community. I guess if you even call what I have a community, I've left the YouTube part of this in the complete dark. Um, if you want to, if you care enough to stay updated at this point, you can join my Discord, and I actually hop on it quite a bit. I'm sorry, this has to be just like roaring in your ears there we go let's let's see how that is um <laughs> yeah if you actually care enough to uh keep up with the community you can join my discord there's a link to it in the description i'm on there all the time every day i'll respond to most messages if it's a good enough message to respond to that's what a lot of people are like tanner you didn't get my message like no i got your message i just didn't care enough to respond to it so <laughs> sorry oh damn it i need that mine card uh Aha! Oh, ooh, I just got myself turned around there. That was crazy. But yeah, if you care enough, you can join the Discord. Alright, so we've got this materials. And I mentioned earlier, I did a live stream on Friday. We're six, six and a half minutes into the... We're six and a half minutes into the video, and I have done absolutely nothing productive content-wise in the game. Waiting for the sun to go down. Beautiful fallish day outside. Why this? Why? Like, what was I thinking with that design? Look at me just dumping garbage into this. This is, this is kind of sad. Oh my gosh, you can only sleep at night. Tro, trust me, I've slept more than at night time in college. In fact, I hardly sleep at night at college. <laughs> A lot of daytime sleeping occurs. Trust me, Minecraft. What am I on a sleep schedule here? This is garbage. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. So let's see if we can get something done here now that we're seven and a half minutes in the video. <laughs> so I mentioned did a live stream. It was actually a successful live stream. I got four subscriptions. Um, a couple of people dropped a few bits. Mike gave me a dollar. He's a mod in my uh, in my Discord. He goes by Squidward. In case you're wondering who he actually is, you know, is a successful stream. We had 30 viewers, 20, more than 20 for the most for the entire time when I was streaming Minecraft. I did Counter Strike, and it of course dropped off because that's just gonna happen. Are they in here? Hello? No. Probably underneath. Um. Oh, I did have glowstone. Let's just dump that off in there. See, like I'm almost thinking that I need to like. Make this pillar here it would. All right, live stream. Of course, thirty viewers did great. Loved it. Thanks for the support. We built this in the live stream. That that's what we did. Oh dear God, what am I doing? <laughs> I need the silk touch pick. Is what I need. That's. <sighs> am I gonna walk all the way over there for that? Probably. Yeah, because I don't have any other scaffolding blocks. So unless I'm gonna, here, you know, you know, you know, it's just. Boom. I have scaffolding. Remind me to use stone bricks whenever I scaffold, because if not, we're going to waste some stone right there. So, we built this. I'm not too happy with the design. As I mentioned, it's very bland, and I think we're going to put um, uh, a wood pillar right here. So now we have cobblestone. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't too happy with the design, but I was happy with the live stream because I haven't streamed in like how long? Months? Several months? And you all come out with 30 viewers just with an announcement on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube, and I actually pull 30 viewers somehow? Like, I'm pretty proud of that. That's pretty decent. Like, I would, you know, 30 viewers is average. So, like, the fact that there's still 30 of you, like, sticking around caring enough to watch these stupid videos is just impressive to me. Did I place the radar down? No. Rain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was I was happy with the live stream. Um, what we are building is an airport control tower. Um, it's it might take a couple episodes, which I might record right now. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that. We're building an airport tower. This thing looks like a castle, <laughs> like a corner tower to a castle. <laughs> 
Oh wow, did we, is this actually 16 blocks tall? That's impressive. Look at this sim symmetry. Like, you know, what are those, like, you get those crazy sociopath serial, serial killers that focus on, like, even numbers or something like that? Okay, like, okay, my problem with this world, okay, my problem with my commentary is I am bouncing around like a basketball here between thoughts. My problem with this world of mine is I don't have Optifine in because, duh, I haven't had mods in my game in months. But uh, if you look, all right, look how bland this is. Like, wood, wood, wood. I like the windmill because it has, like, a little bit of gray mixed with the brown. But, like, this is just all brown and this is just all brown. And I, I don't know. It needs something. I need to figure, I don't know. All right, look, it's a bad look. I'll I'll have to change that somehow. Maybe if we actually do some episodes. Yeah, look forward to about July or August. I'll be sure to make those look better. But until then, it's staying the same. Probably do about a 20-minute video anyways if you're uh, wondering how I'm at the halfway mark and have absolutely done nothing. Oof, I have no way of getting down without killing myself. Oh, I almost made it too. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Look at the rain. No storms, though. We should get a storm, though. Give it some time. Put that back there. Um, Do I want to do a staircase? Yeah, sure. Why not? What was my thought process? Something about this airport tower. That's what we're building. What? Okay, so apparently, apparently you lose hunger whenever this... Your hunger goes towards your health now, and this will drain as this goes up. See, it just took a hit, and I'm assuming it's because of that. Yeah, it definitely is. All right, now we have saturation, I assume. We'll see. Did they add these yet? No. Garbage development, I tell you. Garbage. All right, I'll tell you what. As wide as this thing is, I believe, without doing the math, I think we can make a stair staircase here out of, like, out of just slabs. We'll see. We're gonna, ooh, we're gonna try and go all the way around. I'm, I'm basically copying the build from season five. By the way, I'm not, you know, not basically copying, but it's pretty darn close. I don't know what I just did there, but it was wrong. <laughs> oh no! That's how you do it better there. Um. Yeah. These corners are going to be tough to... Wow, just, just replace that like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Uh, I'm, I'm just stealing a lot of build ideas from Season 5. Like, come on, dude. I, I built a wooden house, a, an, another weather tower. I've had a weather tower for, like... Not not in a row, though, because we know, we know last season I just didn't build anything. I don't know what I just did there. <laughs> but, yeah... <laughs> I'm just looking at season five, and I was like, "Man, everyone enjoyed that season, didn't they?" We should, uh, we should just build like we did in that season, and we'll see if anyone likes it. I'm thinking about damming up the river down there and putting in a giant lake. Would you guys enjoy that? <laughs> did that in season five? <laughs> yeah, no. Like I said, running out of build ideas here. <laughs> um, what what was the topic I wanted to talk about? I said I had a topic, right? YouTube, okay. So, oh, look, we made it to the top without this even coming close to reaching the other side. Nice spiral staircase, Tanner. <laughs> like, sick. <laughs> Needs to go taller. No, this thing is already huge. Um, I know how we'll do this. YouTube, okay, I'm, I'm going to try and commentate instead of commentating my build because I feel like... I feel like you'll get better results if you uh, if you do that. So YouTube, there's a current subscription battle going on between T Series and PewDiePie. If you're unaware of PewDiePie at this point, uh, this topic's not going to be for you because you just don't know enough about YouTube. So I'll give you some background. Um, PewDiePie is the most subscribed to channel in YouTube's history. He currently has the top spot with like 81 million, something crazy like that. T-Series is close. They're like 80 million. Uh, it's a million gap. It's it's actually, the gap is like 300,000. It's been closing. If you haven't kept up with it, just look up PewDiePie versus T-Series 
and you'll understand. I'm, I'm going to talk about the importance of that this this episode as we're 14 and a half minutes in. I guess I'm only going to talk about it for a couple minutes. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about the importance of it and why you should be rooting for PewDiePie to win even if you don't enjoy PewDiePie's content. So basically, PewDiePie is more of a metaphor than he is actually just PewDiePie. It's more than PewDiePie's content. Over the recent years, ever since like 2016, YouTube has gone, has made some questionable moves regarding their channels and how they support them. And they have gone, you would say, more corporate, right? And that's what T-Series is. Is there a corporate Indian Indian um, uh, company? Corporate company. No way, Tanner. Wow, that worked out really well there. But yeah, so that's that's what they are. And if and if you're a big big old uh, fan of YouTube, I don't think you watch it for corporations, do you? I doubt it. I I think you probably enjoy YouTube for what it is. You, okay? It it's been pretty you know pretty covered that YouTube is about or well we have made YouTube YouTube about individual channels creating stuff that's just awesome and that's that's what YouTube is supposed to have been about and it's been that way for a while right until recently whenever YouTube got scared of their advertisers pounding at their door saying hey we don't we don't want that we're scared of what these individual channels can say and can understand that a little bit but like it YouTube sacrificing their company values for m money and that's that's not what the community wants out of YouTube they don't they don't care for the money that YouTube's earning you know and that's that's what's been concerning and it's it's sending a message to YouTube whenever you keep PewDiePie as the number one subscriber just one individual Swedish man who enjoyed playing video games in 2012 versus a whole corporation with an in a company that has some of the that has one of the largest populations in the world you know non-english speaking versus indian speaking that's i don't know if it's actually called indian so don't shoot me if i got that wrong but yeah speaking indian that's that's got to be right but yeah it's a it's a huge difference there you know what i mean like there's there's the numbers aren't in the favor of the english speaking individual youtube channels to win you, you, that's just, number, the odds aren't in our favor and that's why T-Series is caught up but the longer that we um, procrastinate put off T-Series passing you to you, T-Series passing PewDiePie it's more of a message that we're sending to YouTube we don't like your corporate changes and we enjoy these individual channels thriving the, the gaming community in YouTube has really died off I'm not trying to advocate for the revival of a gaming community. I'm trying to advocate for just individual small channels taking off, and he, uh, unfortunately, it's the Jake Pauls, the Logan Pauls, Mr. Beast, the, the, the good channels too, Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, I, I personally do enjoy PewDiePie's content, and, you know, just other small channels like that. Even your gaming channels that are still alive and thriving today, it's, uh, that's what that's all about right there. It's, uh, Sending a message to YouTube saying, that's what we're here for. We're not here for your corporate content. We're here for these individual channels. And if you cut, if you kill these individual channels, oh, you've got to be joking. If you kill these individual channels, we're not here for it. We're, ow, we're not, we're not here to stay for that. <laughs> I, I saw a video. It was, it was on why India, you should be cheering for T-Series. And it's because people have been making the battle more about um, America versus India than they have um, than they have what I'm advocating it is individual channels versus corporations and I, I think that's completely not true personally I think that uh, sorry about that guys uh, a little interruption there um, so as I was saying right uh, people's advocating that uh, it's not about what I'm advocating they say it's about inclusiveness in YouTube and making sure that these other countries are recognized as part of the YouTube community and I do understand where they're coming from right when YouTube was created these countries did not have internet or a lot of them didn't right 
So I, I get what they're saying. They're saying that, you know, times have changed. These people have internet, and they're now a part of YouTube. And I get that, but that's not what the issue at hand is. They're saying, oh, we've got all these talented people in, like, India, for example, who should be uh, getting recognition for making amazing projects and videos. And, like, yes, that is that is exactly true, right? We, we want that. We want these people making their awesome, amazing videos. The T-Series isn't doing that. T-Series isn't these individual people. It's it's not about the fight of these people are going to get included in YouTube and it's not it's not our job to include them. We don't speak their language and we're not watching their videos. Our job is to fight for these people though so that they they do have the chance to make these videos and make money off these videos and make a living off these videos like your um like your Mr. Beast and the Paul brothers and all these people. That's that's what we're wanting. We're wanting these Indian the uh, little 12 year olds are about to launch Minecraft for the first time. We want them to be able to experience what we have, you know? And, like, it's ridiculous to say that T Series is the. T Series passing PewDiePie is is how they're going to do that, right? Like, no. That's, that's not the case at all. <laughs> so, like, whenever. Whenever people say, like, yeah, it's T-Series winning is all about the inclusion of India and YouTube. No, T-Series winning is all about the, uh, is all about the YouTube's transition into corporate content. When you, when you look at PewDiePie, right, PewDiePie is a perfect example of representing individual channels, right? Okay, PewDiePie has made his fair share of mistakes. We don't have to cross that bridge again. He has made his fair share of mistakes. Individual channels make their fair share of mistakes, and that's why YouTube's scared. They're scared they're gonna, that we're going to make these individual mistakes that are going to cost them their advertisers. But we want to watch these, like, edgy, um, non-mainstream people, right? Like, if we want to watch this censored, family-friendly PG content, I'll just turn on my TV. That's not what we're on YouTube here for. You, can, PewDiePie's always been on the edge of controversy and always been one of those like uh, one of those controversial YouTubers, and that's what that's what his fans are there for. And there's 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 a lot there's millions of them. I'm not saying 80 million because a lot of people are subscribing to him for different reasons now, but a lot of his fans are there for that content and. It's, it's, YouTube's the only place that you can find that, or at least used to be able to. Now, you know, they've got they've got their content creators whooped trying to transform them into what T Series is, and nobody wants that. We don't we don't want to be like T Series. We want to be like us. We want to be like you. So, like that that's that's the reason why. Like, if if you haven't taken a side in this PewDiePie versus T Series nonsense. You, you do need to take a side, and I, I would advocate that you do subscribe to PewDiePie. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you. If you want to be cool and not do it because you think it's cool that you're going against the main flow of things, you do you, man. That's, that's all it's up to you. I'm not going to stop you. I'm just going to recommend that you guys subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs> so that's that's my uh, little, little, nonsense, little nonsensical spew on the topic. I'm, uh, I'm kind of interested on what your guys' thoughts are, too. You know, do you think corporate YouTube is a good thing? I, and see, I'm, I'm biased here, so me calling it corporate YouTube is going to sound negative. It's got, corporate has had a negative connotation in our society for a long, long, long period of time. So, <laughs> I say corporate YouTube. You can come up for a different name for the recent transition in YouTube if you want to, but that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> So, like, what, what's your guys' opinion on this? Do you do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you do you like T series? Do you hate T series? Do you do you think T series is important for representation of India? I don't know. Give me your thoughts. You've just been filled in. No, I'm kidding. I hate Philip Franco. <laughs> the dude is the definition of corporate YouTube almost. Even though he gets demonetized, it's amazing how how he tries not to, but then uses the demonetization to fire up his fan base to give him more money. It's a, it's amazing feat, I'll tell you. The, the dude is smart. He's also a con. <laughs> but no, no I'm, not, I'm not talking about Philip DeFranco. I'm talking about YouTube. And that, I just want your thoughts on it, on where YouTube is, you know. I feel like a lot of people watching this video, right? Oh, hello. They've uh, they've kind of done what I've done, right? They, they grew up on 
YouTube, right? That, that was their childhood. For me, I'm in that generation where us 19-year-olds, 18, 20, 21, 16, you know, in there. We grew up on YouTube, right? Like, um, that was our entertainment. We would come home, we'd launch Minecraft with our friends, and we'd watch videos on it. And I think that's, uh, that's how we got our kicks back in middle school and high school. And it's, uh, it's, it's an important, it's a touchy spot for us just because of that. So I, I kind of want your guys' thoughts on it. And, it, you know, even if we do send this message to YouTube, do you think they're going to actually do anything? No. But it is a message at least, and it's the least we can do about it. So that's, uh, that's my thoughts on it. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing in relation to the actual build here, I'm, uh, I'm getting sand for glass because we need more gray stained glass. This, uh, this airport tower is a little bit bigger than I was hoping for, but hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> I didn't tell you what, we're facing a freaking wall cloud right now. The thing's gonna go off in the distance though, but I'll tell you, it could make a decent thumbnail. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> I need to cover that back up. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna end the video though. On that note, um,. Let me guys know, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Give me more suggestions for these videos. Um, I know I didn't show a tornado. But hopefully I will in the next episode. I don't know, promises. That cloud's kind of going away, which is not good in terms of you all getting to see a tornado because I'm going to record the next one right after this one. But let me know what you think, I guess. And that's, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on anything. Um, See y'all in the next one. Bye.